All right, so I'm gonna turn the headlights to on. And uh, this is a 2021 Chevrolet Equinox. Um, the concern is a dim headlight on the right side. So I turned the headlights on. You should be able to see them now. All right, so take a look at this. Maybe you can see it better than I can through the camera. You can see there, there's one of the headlights, right? You can see the wall. Now on this side over here, it might be hard to see, all this stuff in the way, but uh, it's not lighting up the box. I mean, the light is like hitting right here. Uh, look at this light. Can you see what I mean? That's like the light coming right at you. It doesn't get any brighter. See that? Compared to this? Alright. So. Let's get in here. See what it takes to do this. All right, the first thing I think I'm gonna do is gonna pull this connector off of here. Grab a 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take this 10 millimeter out right here. This is for the air filter box. So. Now I wanna see what we can do as far as taking this out, what's going to be easiest? I'm going to get a Phillips here. Loosen these screws up on the air filter box as well. There's four Phillips screws on this. Take the air filter out. All right, so this piece here, you can take it off down here at the, I don't know if that's like the turbo down there or just up here. Let's see what we need to get in here. Uh, it doesn't look like much. Honestly, you could probably just move this out of the way and you don't even have to take this off. But if you want more clearance for your camera, let's just take it off. We'll 
let's pull it off right here. Get this thing out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to turn off the headlights so that that little box that we're going to take out it can cool down. Get you in here. Let's see if I can get you in here where you can see something. So we're going to take this piece off right here. I got to look inside here. I think there's a part on the upper part here that we need to pull back. There we go. This thing can be very hot. So be careful. Especially if you just had it on like I did. Alright, so you can see that clip right there. So we're going to unclip that. Alright. That thing is burning hot. So here's what I, I, I purchased. D5S. You can go with, it's a uh, Xeon standard bulb or whatever. You can go with uh, the original equipment manufacturer as a Philips bulb. It's about 90 bucks. And this one here is about half the cost. So we're going to try it to see if it lasts any longer. Should look about the same here. It's a clip right there. So you can see where the clip goes in. Alright, let's get this clip in here. There we go. It's all in there and tight. Get that in there. There's a little bit of an O-ring that the... Uh, it's got this O-ring thing. We're just going to put this down in here. This is for the bottom of the air filter box. Let's get the air filter box back over here. So you can see that it goes right in there. So let's 
get you out of here. Let's get this air filter box back installed. lined up I'm gonna put my air filter back in check out this bulb that's what it looks like I don't really see anything going on different with it this is how that was I'm going to connect the hose here. I'm going to tighten the four screws for the uh, air filter box. Now I'm going to tighten this one screw here for the rubber boot that goes over the upper air cleaner box housing. That's tight. Now I'm going to reinstall this one 10, 10 millimeter bolt for the uh, bottom of the air box. Yeah. All right, we're going to reconnect the um, temperature sensor, whatever this is, it could, for the air, I, maybe it's idle air temp, I'm not sure which sensor this is, but we're connecting that back up. Next thing we need to do is turn the headlights on. Let's see what we got here when we turn these on. Okay. Now uh, it's definitely a lot brighter. So I think you can see that, right? That that's definitely brighter. And take a look at that. Now, when you compare the sides, they both look bright. All right. Well, this concludes doing the uh, dim headlight um, concern on a 2021 Chevy Equinox. Check out some of my other videos. Thank you.